what's up everybody? I'm Ladina Strand. I'm a local real estate broker here in beautiful Portia, Washington. And if this is your first time with this channel and you wanna know everything about Kitsap County, well, I do tons and tons of videos. Everything you need to know. So you wanna make sure you tap that subscribe button and don't forget to click the little bell so you're notified every time that I do a new video. Now I get lots and lots of phone calls, emails, texts every single day of people looking to relocate here and I absolutely love it. So if you're thinking about moving or relocating, you gotta make sure you reach out to me by giving me a call, shooting a text, sending an email, you can even send the Seahawk, however you wanna get a hold of me, I definitely have your back on moving to Kitsap County. So I get on here to give you the most up-to-date current information on what's happening here in our local market. Before we get into that though, I wanna kind of talk about what's going on, some stats that are going on on a more national level because it definitely reflects what's happening here locally. So this week, you guys, the 30-year uh, fixed mortgage rate hit another historical low of 2.86% this week, according to Freddie Mac. Um, in Freddie Mac's data release notes this week, the company said these low rates have um, ignited robust purchase demand activity, which is up 25% from a year ago, and it has been growing at double digit rates for four consecutive months. Um, and we're definitely seeing that here locally. Uh, the market here has just been on fire. So that's what's going on nationally. Let's talk about here uh, what's going on here local at a local level here in Kitsap County. And I'm just going to cover what's available throughout selected areas in Kitsap County. And again, the stats I'm going to give you are going to be for single family detached homes. This is not going to include, you know, vacant land, condos or rentals. And, you know, if I don't cover, you know, a town, community or city or area that you're interested in, like I always share, just comment down below the video. I'd be more than happy to connect with you and get you the additional information. So as you can see, I do have a map of Kitsap County pulled up here. And again, Kitsap County covers all the way to the very tip top of beautiful Hansville over, you know, looking the Puget Sound, all the way down to the southern part of Kitsap and in the Port Orchard and Olala area and everything else in between. So it's a pretty decent sized county. We have a population right now of about 271,000 people. So countywide, there are a total of 352 homes for sale in all of Kitsap County, which is down from 367, we were, which we were at about two weeks ago. And again, this is for all price ranges. Now, the absorption rate is also in for the month of August. We are now officially sitting at 1.2 months worth of inventory, which is down from 1.3 months. And our inventory is 29.4% lower than it was a year ago. And the median house price for August has also increased to 400,000 as the median house price for Kitsap County. And the average house price is sitting at 491,800. So again, we are in a very, very hot seller's market. And you know, I do have some people say that they wanna wait to, you know, to get into the market after it tanks. Well, don't take my word for it, but we're pretty much getting multiple offers on just about everything. So. We have actually had 388 homes sold in Kitsap County in just the last 30 days. Hey, if you're really enjoying these videos and they're helping you with your move out here, can you please smash that like button? I'll give you a couple seconds there down below. And uh, it, you know, don't forget to subscribe. You know, it really helps my videos out. And so I'm gonna cover the inventory levels throughout selected areas in Kitsap County. And uh, I'm gonna start down here in Port Orchard in the Southern area. We call that South Kitsap County. And uh, we have a total of 96 homes for sale in Port Orchard. We were at 117 homes just a couple weeks ago. And the median house price for Port Orchard has increased now to 380,000, which is up from 378 uh, where we were at uh, in July. Now moving farther north into Bremerton, which is becoming a very um, popular area. It's very up and coming. They have the fast ferry system in. We've got the new Amazon warehouse coming in here in October, so very soon here. And uh, so right now we have a total of 91 homes for sale in Bremerton. We had 78 a couple of weeks ago, so we've had a little bit of an uptick um, in listings in the Bremerton area, which is good news if you're looking at Bremerton. And the median house price for Bremerton has increased from 345000 to officially 350000 Moving a little bit farther north up into the Silverdale area, which we consider central Kitsap, 
And Somerdale is sitting at 28 homes on the market. We had 16 homes a couple of weeks ago, and the, the median house price for, for Somerdale is sitting at $441,000. Uh, moving a little bit farther north, up into the Paulsbo area, which is considered in North Kitsap County. And um, the Paulsbo has, area has a total of 27 homes for sale. We had 34 a couple of weeks ago. And the median house price is now officially sitting at $479,000 for Paulsbo. So, so as far as affordability, your best bets are going to be um, the Bremerton and the Port Orchard area. And... Um, as I'm saying with, you know, seeing with all the growth that's going on here, our prices are going to continue to, to climb in the foreseeable future. Um, we have had so many people that have wanted to get to the Pacific Northwest that just didn't have the time and now they do. And so I'm definitely seeing a huge trend of people uh, moving from other states and coming into our little slice of heaven here in Kitsap County. So if you want to buy a house in Kitsap County, now is the time. Um, and as competitive as this market is, if you are a buyer, it's very important that you're working with an agent um, that knows the market, knows the contracts inside and out, um, that can help you draft a very, very competitive offer. Um, there's different strategies involved on and helping you win in a multiple offer situation. And I actually did a video a little while back on how to win in a multiple offer situation. You can just click right up above to access that. And um, so you want to make sure that you know you're working with a local lender as well. Um, again, that knows the market, knows the contracts inside and out. So if you need a lender, I'd be more than happy to recommend. Um, if you're a homeowner thinking about selling now with the buyer competition that's out there and the low, low inventory that we're experiencing, now is a great time to sell. And uh, you want to make sure, again, that you're working with an agent that knows how to market your home correctly, that can sell it quickly and for top dollar. So if you want more information on your home's value or what's happening in your specific community, just feel free to reach out to me. You can give me a call, shoot me a text. However you want to get a hold of me, I'd be happy to connect with you and give you the additional information that's going to be specific to you and your needs. But as always, I hope you like this video, guys. Please leave a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Share this video with a friend. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to learn anything and everything that Western Washington has to offer. And until the next video, guys, I'll catch you later.